Hello there and welcome to Hoo-Ha Sports Today as we begin the week with a wrap-up of the Premier League results where the chasing pack of title contenders all failed to obtain three points at the start of the season. But let's quickly bring you a roundup of some other newsmakers from the weekend. World number 1 Lee Chong-wei once again failed to lay his hand on the elusive world champion title when he lost to his arch nemesis Lin Dan in a thrilling 2022-21-14 and 23-21 in the 1 hour 22 minute final at Wembley Arena. Chong-wei may be the world number 1 but he still succumbed to the dominance of Lin Dan, this one the 17th in 24 meetings between the two. To other record spots, another Malaysian world number one, Nicole David, was in superb form when she defeated world number two, Jenny Duncalf, in straight sets to win her first Australian Open title. This was Nicole's first ever title down under, marking her 700th professional career match and, come at the end of August, will extend her reign as the world number one to 61 consecutive months. That's five years and a month at the top. More racket not involving Malaysians, tennis. Novak Djokovic continued his splendid run this season, claiming the Rogers Cup when he defeated Mardi Fish in the final. This is Djokovic's fifth ATP 1000 Masters title and is the first player to win five of them in a year. He's also the first person to win an ATP tournament in his debut as the world number one, since Pete Sampras did it 18 years ago. And winning ways is certainly returning to former world number one Serena Williams when she claimed the women's title. It's back-to-back -back victories for Serena after capturing the Bank of the West Classic two weeks ago. This will raise the position in the rankings from 80 to 30 when the list, when the list is released today. And last but not least, Casey Stoner once again dominated the track as he cruised to a convincing win in the MotoGP of the Czech Republic in Brno. This is Stoner's sixth win of the season and stretches his lead in the standings. Teammate Danny Pertroza crashed on lap four. Current world champion Jorge Lorenzo settled for fourth, while Marco Simoncelli in a Gracini Honda took his first podium in the MotoGP series. Now that's done, let's swing over to the Premier League and look at the outcome after match day one. Can't read much into the results after just one match, but the truth of it is that the chasing pack of Arsenal, Chelsea and Liverpool all drew their openness. United got a very lucky win away at West Brom, while it was carnage at Loftus Road as Bolton hammered new boys Queen's Park Rangers 4-0. My sympathies to one of our viewers, MD1882, who is a Rangers fan. City will take on Swansea tonight. To the standings, better take a snapshot of this Bolton fans because this scenery is so precious. Same can be said for Wolves fans, but as we mentioned, it's only one game. While at the bottom, home losses for West Brom, Blackburn and Rangers will not out all go well in the run for survival. But it's fans from the gang of three that are a little frustrated at their team. Here's a quick glance at the Facebook comments. While some thought Chelsea were good, Trevor May, who claims to be at the match, says otherwise. No result at the end, while others are pleased with Torres' performance. Over at the Arsenal FB page, it's a battle between those who want Wenger to stay and those who want change. Plus, the fence sitters who are looking at the ideal replacement should Wenger go. They say they lack the quality, while Madi Kader uh, wonders if a top 10 is even possible. And on the Liverpool page, well, honestly, looking at their comments, it seems like the fans had a better strategy and game plan than King Kenny Daglish. But Ricky Siva observed that the new signings did put in a good performance. It's just match day one and the 2011-2012 Premier League season has already got your pulse racing. Take it easy, my friend. It's a long road and we'll leave it at there for the moment. And we will be back tomorrow as we look at the transfer market with news that Cesc Fabregas is confirmed to be moving to Barcelona and who knows who else is coming and going. We'll try to make sense of it all. Till then, have a great start to your work week, but it's bye for now.